Good afternoon to everyone, highly respected uh, our history sir. And today my topic is on Jimmy Namgyal as a Tromsa Doyen. And we are, uh, I am from Algebra Group. Uh, firstly, in 1850, civil strife broke out as officials from the East gathered in Mongar. As you know, under Tromsa Penlop, there are eight Eight Zonkaks known as Shacho Kolotipge. They are Bumtang, Jiamgang, Mongar, Pemagatse, Samduk Zonkar, Tashigang, and Tashigang Tefunzi. And when the civil strife broke out, the eight Zonkaks were trying to forcefully take out the Tronsa Penlok from his post. Uh, when, civil strife, yeah, when the civil strife broke out, there wasn't, uh, until, until then, there was not an absolute control on Shacho Kolo Tsibge by the Tronsa Penlo. In that year, Jimmy Namgyal was 25 years old and he was made as the Tronsa Tongyal, the guest master of Tronsa. And before the Tronsa Penlo sent him to quell the protest, protests of civil strife, he trekked to Mongar and took four Dongaks under him. And they were Tashiyate, Dumsam, Jongar and Tashigam. He was sent to Mongar. He was sent to Mongar to call the protest. And he before he went, he suppressed four Dongaks. And after the civil strife, there was again a civil civil strife broke out. Before that, Tronsa and Jimmy Namgel had had put Subhas, Zonkak uh, Subhas, goodness officer in South. In, they gained the power, uh, they took over lots of Zonkak, that's why the Tronsa Penlok became the strongest Penlok in Bhutan. Then after again a civil strife broke out in 1851, that time the Desi, uh, 40 Desi was Chakpa Sangye and he was invincible because he had lots of army and the strongest man known as Mikte. And Jimmy Namgyal struggled to fight with him. Tronsa Penlok sent three men. Tumkar Gelsen, Sip Doji Namgyal, Jimmy Namgyal, trek to Kunakha and uh, trek to Kunakha and kill, defeated the strongest man of Chakpa Sangye known as Mikte. But there were lots of army so Lots of army, so they they were able to escape to Tongsa. The killer of the killer of Chappa Sangye was Agehap, but Agehap had the idea. Agehap Agehap brought a silk go and in, infected the go with a uh, smallpox, and he. And he gifted it to Chakpa Sangye. Chakpa Sangye was curious because it was it was a silk go and he wore it. After some year, he died by the infection of his smallpox. Thank you.